Okay, hello everybody and welcome to our sharing session from me, Gobal Krishnan. Uh, so, as you guys are aware, um, every month we'll have one sharing session. I missed out two sharing sessions, so I'm trying to compensate. And I will today I want to share on the topic of email marketing basics. This is part one of email marketing basics. <laughs> Here. <laughs> part two, <laughs> part two will be shared with everyone maybe tomorrow or sometime this week while I'm catching up uh, from my sharing activities. So, what is email marketing? Um, basically, email marketing. One of the primary things you need to do is you need to have the proper email marketing software. So, if I send Harris an email or Zilpa an email one on one, that's not really considered email marketing, right? It's considered a direct from an uh, email. Well, how about if I send an email and CC to 500 people? Okay, is that considered email marketing or not? Again, email marketing really depends on the content of the post. So if you're just forwarding funny cat pictures to 1,000 people, then you're not really marketing anything. So that's more like bulk email. Bulk email, chain email, whatever it is. But if the same method that you that you uh, send to many people from one person uh, using CC or BCC in Gmail, whatever it is, but you're actually selling something or promoting something, then it's considered email marketing. So the very uh, caveman method is to co put 500 emails in an email uh, in an Excel sheet, copy everything, put into your Gmail as CC or BCC, and send out to everybody. That's okay for you know a few hundred people or less than a hundred. That's fine, but I think there's a limit to that. And if you start sending ten thousand people through BCC, probably your Gmail account will be sh shut down. So to do email marketing, you really need the proper software. And there are many different kind of software. The one that we use is called Aweber. So Aweber is an email marketing software, and it helps you to manage your email list. So you can see all your subscribers in Aweber. You can uh, download the list in Excel if you want to, but actually you'll have to log in to Aweber to do most of the stuff. So if you, even if you download the list, it's, it's really no point. Uh, but in Aweber itself, you can log in, view each subscriber, and you can send out an email to them. So e Aweber is not a, like Gmail. You, I cannot view uh, one subscriber and send them an email individually. No. It's, it's created by having uh, lists and segmentation and other stuff. But I'll go into that in the second part. So to do email marketing properly, you need email marketing software that can deliver to thousands and thousands of people uh, very easily without you having to uh, worry about your Gmail account getting spammed because all emails are sent from their server. So we need email marketing software and we use Aweber. Now, how do we get the subscribers? That is the important thing. So in order to get subscribers, for email marketing to work, you need a landing page. So a landing page is where you put in, uh, landing page is where the visitors would come on your website, either from uh, uh, Facebook or social media or any link from any other website. And all these visitors end up on the landing page. And from this landing page, we put an opt-in form. So this opt-in form is provided by Aweber. I will show you in a while how it looks like. So this opt-in form, we put it on the landing page and the rest of the landing page is basically uh, explaining why someone should subscribe, which means to put in their name and email address and what they will get if they subscribe. So when somebody goes to your landing page and fills up the opt-in form, so uh, he's considered a subscriber. And this is uh, the, the, the formula for this or the metric for this is considered opt-in rate. Opt-in rate basically means out of 100 people who visited your landing page, how many people fill up the opt-in form. If 10 people fill up the opt-in form, then your opt-in rate is 10%. But it doesn't stop there. From the opt-in form, after they filled up the name and email address, there's two ways to add them into your Aweber account. The first is single opt-in and the second is double opt-in. Single opt-in means as soon as they fill the name and email address, click submit, they are added automatically to your Aweber account. Whereas double opt-in means they will get a verification email first. So what is the difference? 
with double opt-in they will get a verification email and they must click on the link in that email only when they click in the link in that email will they be added to your Aweber account and well single opt-in they will not receive any verification email at all whatever they put in the form is added to your Aweber account so there's pros and cons of it by using single opt-in you will get more subscribers because there's only one action they need to do is click submit that's all they don't need to check for verification email however a lot of those subscribers may be fake email addresses or even they entered the wrong instead of dot com they entered dot co maybe so they will be added to your email account but any emails that you send to them they will never receive because it's fake or incorrect email address so by adding double opt-in you will um, only be adding the people who have verified the email address so you know it's an actual email address correct email address not fake or no error there so this is considered the conversion rate how um, how many people get added into your Aweber account so if you're using single opt-in when they visit landing page they click on the opt-in they fill up the opt-in form and they add it straight away to your Aweber account well, if you're using double opt-in, they visit your landing page, fill up the opt-in form, but then they will get a verification email first. And if they click on the verification email, only then it's added to the Aweber account or email marketing software. So when the subscriber is added to the Aweber account, then Aweber will automatically send them an autoresponder email and then redirect them to the thank you page. The thank you page can be any page that you want. It's, it's created by you. And you can also choose not to enter a thank you page if you want to and just use the autoresponder alone. That's really up to you. So this is an example of the opt-in form that um, I create in our Aweber account. So there are many templates that you can use, but in this example, I'm just going for a very plain looking template because the customization of styling is done ourselves on the website. So you can uh, choose what forms or what fields to have in your in uh, the form. By default, email address is required. You can also add name or you can create a new field and then you can continue to design your form. Now this form you'll put on your landing page, as I mentioned. So this is an example of a link tracker landing page. So a landing page is very simple. It's just, it has a headline, subheadline and some text there to uh, actually encourage people to subscribe or put in their name and email address to encourage them the best way is to maybe give a coupon or some reason why they need to put in their name and email address in this case we give a free report and then the bottom of this page you see right underneath the free report you can put in their full name email address and click download now however we are using a double opt-in system so if they put their name and email address and click download now, they actually don't download anything. They're not even added to our Aweber account yet. Sorry, they are added to the Aweber account, but their status is unverified because they need to verify the email address first. So when they click on download now, instead, we show them a page like this to tell them, please activate your subscription. You've just been sent an email that contains a confirmed link. So if the subscriber reach up to this part, but they never check their email address and they never click on the link, they will appear in Aweber account, status is unverified, and after a few days, if, if they haven't clicked on the email, they will just be removed. I'm not sure exactly how many days, let's say 30 days. After 30 days, if they haven't clicked on the verification email, it will be removed. So we only get high quality people who know how to check their email and click on the link. <laughs> <laughs> and after they click on a link, it will automatically bring them to the thank you page. So after they click on the link, they'll be uh, status in Aweber will be uh, verified, and then they will be automatically taken to the thank you page here, where we give the um, download links for the ebook that we promise and other stuff. And as soon as they're added to Aweber and confirm the email address, they will receive. An auto response email from Aweber. So this is uh, an email that I have already put in our Aweber account with the template. So they will get this as soon as they verify their email address. 
That's all for my presentation in part 1. In part 2, I will show you what happens from the point that you are already in your eWeber. So once you are already in your eWeber account, you can continue to send them email uh, as much as you want actually until they decide to unsubscribe from your eWeber. So in the next part, I will explain what is open rate, what is click-through rate and other important things about email marketing. Thank you very much. Uh, questions. Besides Aweber, 